Good evening. Welcome to the Shining Fast. If you are watching this on the YouTubes and you're John and you're chuckling to yourself, these will be probably episodes 17 and 18, we say optimistically. Occasionally we've done a couple of extra episodes, haven't we, John? That We've, you know, done a couple of extra fights in the game, moved on with life. I mean, by extra fights, do you mean like you lost and then had to do them again? Because that has happened, and I'm very happy about that. It's happened twice. We have been punished twice. We've had to fight at the bridge, and we got killed by Clayface and friends in the last episode. So Clayface, such yeah. a good character. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it depends which version we're talking. Batman the animated ver series, or we talk. Have you seen the version in the Harlequin cartoon show? <laughs> I like I like how like the even slightest hint of like derailing the show and immediately let let's talk about Batman. We're not talking about Shining Force, where we are in the game or anything like that. No, we're just going to talk about yeah. Batman. Well, the Dark Knight. Let's continue to derail Gareth. Let's talk about like Batman Beyond, shall we? And the other Clayface, who is actually a, a sexy lady. I mean, technically, any Clayface can also be a sexy lady, but uh, she's also is she not called Mask or something as well? M -m -m mask yeah so i think you're getting your shows mixed up oh uh, no it's m-a-s-q-u-e mask um opposed to m-a-s-k which is an abbreviation i don't remember from a weird 80s cartoon show so last episode we got punished uh on our way to get a book from this library to take it to the other library where the children with the library card can uh tell us how to have the manual of the seal that Dark Soul needs. Oh, this doesn't sound hype or dramatic or at all. We've just entered this village. Oh yeah, we, we've got the, the thriller music. Yeah. Hype instantly. So let's see how mm. we can do. Welcome to the item shop. I mean, we still have two healers who can't attack because I uh, sold their weapons before they leveled up to being able to yeah. use them. So it's fine. We, we can grind this out. Welcome, hero, to my humble shop. Right, it's not much of a humble shop what? if all you're telling me is you own a shop. I like how Gareth says that I make things hard for myself, but that's fine. Hey, are you talking that, telling that to the audience mm. or are you telling that to yourself? You're just like self-hyping in the mirror. You're just like, it's fine. It's you're fine. good. You're the best. You're the best Shining Force player ever. You can do this. <laughs> You've got this. Uh, yeah, I'm Mike Tysoning the whole scenario where I'm... Uh, is that what Mike Tyson does? Mike Tyson, uh, basically, I was watching something to do with Tyson Fury when he beat uh, Tony Wilder, and he basically commented that he's probably the kind of boxer that spends the whole time telling himself that he's the best boxer, but he says that's what you've kind of got to do in that profession. Right, the halbard. Who do we think gets the halbard? That sounds like a centaur weapon to me. Uh, or does it sound like a flying knee gun? A guns? guns weapon? A guns weapon, indeed. Yeah. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Uh, so, Papal saying uh, in the chat there, at this point in the game, you casually come across Kane. Yeah. And I used to think, what if Kane just stabs Max across the chest while standing casually there? Or Lol. when he just turns around and stabs him in the back. Is that what happens? Um, no, but that's... The amount of, like, paranoia I self-induced as a kid of, like, any second now, he could just stab me. There's going to be, like... Yeah, he could do that. What would have been maybe sick if they do a remake of this, and I want to talk about that concept in a moment. I've gone past Guns, haven't I? No? Yes. Um, there he is. Um, is the notion of the... If it had been, like, Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn where you get no path of radiance where you have the 1v1 versus the black knight if i don't know if you remember that fight at oh all. Yeah, yeah yeah that is path of radiance yeah, and, yeah and, and they could do that with this fight maybe perhaps is this blue yeah hey oh cool go away no get him get in my party i don't want to fight okay just go away you big coward. You can uh, do the honours, John. Blue, this person is our friend. He's here to help. Stop shaking, you baby. Oh, Karen, you're so mean. Right. Shut up, get in the van, and give me the chest. 
Just leave me alone! Right. Let me out of this room as well would be pretty awesome. I was worried about Blue, so I followed you. I think he's really hopeless. I'm disappointed in you, Blue. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Yeah. I actually got the chance to use that the other day. It was fantastic. It made my daughter cry. <laughs> Quality parenting. Yeah. I help, help! Blue! Grumps! That's Kareen's voice. Master, give Blue a sock. Um, that's how my voice was turning for that. Why did I just press yeah, talk? Much. Oh, Sitting Saint is here. Blue were fitting great with Captain Cowardice here. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> and so it begins. Hello, Thank Sitting God Saint. Sitting I, hope every, I hope you're having a good day. Shower. Yeah, my day just got better. Shower I've of got cure. an ally to my side. <laughs> <laughs> Shower of Cure, a <laughs> Shower of Cure, aka the Tears of Robert Smith. That's bad. Are you being the villain, or am I being the villain? Yeah, sure. Well, dragon, if you want to save this girl, open that shrine door. Blue, don't listen to him. Remember that you're a sacred dragon. Irene, no. What are you gonna do about it, crybaby dragon? Blue spews fire. <laughs> Who's saying that? <laughs> Imagine if ah! everyone, everyone in the room turns around and there's just a guy narrating in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, do you have to be here? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. The way I did that, by the way, uh, I rewatched the, the Matrix movies, and I wonder if it could be the uh, the source guy, the <laughs> architect. Yeah. It would just be the. Mm, yes. I mean, with him being the source guy, he also looks like Colonel Sanders, uh, Saunders, Sanders. So it's the 11 yeah, herbs and spices mix that he's just been hit with. <laughs> that yeah. spicy chicken. I'm not very confident yet, but I'll try my best. Oh, goody. We, that's what we want in this uh, party. A trier, uh, not a mm -hmm. doer. Do or do not. There is no try. Yep. Right. Hey, we can, I, can I say something controversial, by the way? I'm listening. I, I watched um, The Matrix Revelations again for the first time since I first saw it when it came out. It's like 80% okay. Which one's Revelation? Awful. Which one's Revelations? Is that the middle the, one? The last one. No, the last one. I'm pretty sure when I went to see that, I fell asleep and missed like the last hour and then kind it's of. It's not very exciting. <laughs> It's right up there with like all the political talk in like the first start in episodes what uh, episode three. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's kind of that. Let's let's dramatically talk to Kane. Am we, I Kane or are you? Kane? I, I don't remember this. Do you want a rock paper scissors for this, or do you want a carry on yeah, voice sure. acting for the? Hang on, Jan, Ken, Pon. Oh, okay, and again, Jan. Ken! Pon! Scissors! Right. Jan! It, Ken! So everyone in the, ch in the chat, by the way, I can't see Gareth's camera, so I, I can't tell who's yeah. one or not. Paper. I mean, you can on Twitch oh, if you've okay. got Twitch open. Um, yeah, but there's a delay. Remember me, Grumps. Kane of Runefaust. Ready for your last fight. Go back to your headquarters and get ready. Then you'll meet your doom. Yeah, he totally should just stab you in the back. What's he doing? <laughs> I'm a bad guy, but I want an honourable fight. Yeah, John. No! Who does that? Just a... <laughs> oh, I'm, wi I'm the winner while you went off to the headquarters. Imagine that. Um... What? Oh, we got... Oh, I just, like, had a dump truck and just <laughs> filled in the, the stairwell <laughs> with cement and just watched you die. Yeah. I waited multiple days before sending people through. So, is there anyone in this party we think we should ditch to put... All of them. <laughs> to put in chill villain, because <laughs> he told you to warm up and get ready. Right. It's time for everyone's favourite section of these episodes, John. Okay. I wasn't prepared for this. I, I need to prepare for this. I keep forgetting. Right. 
What advice has Nova got for us this week? Well, Grumps, are you ready to face the enemy? Nova's advice. Oh, sorry, okay. You're not even giving me a chance. To... No, it's fine. Sorry. No, it's fine. Don't worry. I, 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 no. was, I was just too no, excited. Too late now. Genie's gone from the bars. Too late. It's gone. This is a strange I may as well not be here. I may as well, I may as well stop <laughs> being on this show. <laughs> on your channel. <laughs> yes. This is a strange village. It would be sure death to face a powerful foe here alone. And it... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Flip your table, John. He may yeah. as well be Mystic Meg. Just giving, like, you know, really vague things out. It's just like, you may meet somebody here. Somebody you know from your past. You may meet somebody with hands. Um, <laughs> they may or We may... haven't taken hands for ages. They may or may not have a face. Flip my table. Papal, I don't think you understand just how like big my table is. My table <laughs> would be would be quite an impressive feat for me to flip. Right, let's take blue. Who are we leaving behind? Um I think maybe mm. I'm I'm thinking Anri. Really? I remember playing the GBA version of this game and thinking that Anri was cool and, and really good. But yeah, but it's... she she just gets one shot every fight when we like we do one big hit with her and then she just goes, Ah, I'm tired now. Uh, that that's because you keep going, Ah, here's a situation where I can hit four thousand people all at once. Oh it will get me killed, but let's do it. Uh, uh there's that. I mean Chris and Lowe aren't far from promoting. Yeah. How did we feel about Lyle last episode? I feel like as a bazooka user, he could be more commando and less you horse. know less less <laughs> horse. I don't know. He's he's okay. We we do need like an archer, but don't we also have Diane in the team, or did we drop her? We've got Diane. So Diane's in. Yeah. One of those two shouldn't be. Who do you reckon? Di okay, chat. Diane or Lyle? Who gets the boot? Uh, Trace Complete also saying that, look at it this way, Astro just sits there telling you to take it easy. Significant improvement. <laughs> I, you're not wrong. You're not wrong yeah. there, actually. Uh, oh, Papa's uh, saying Diane. Anyone well, else? Diane in or Diane out? Like, who? what choice are we making here? Because I think that... Lyle's got better attack, apparently. Lyle. I'm assuming they're telling us who to That's... keep. I mean, that's two votes for, for Lyle wow. staying, so I think Diane should go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Trace complete, quickly backing himself up with, usually, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> everything is set in stone in Shining Force 1, which is very handy. Where's he at? Or where's she at, even? Where's Diane at? Or have we taken you've, that? You've already taken a Diane. Great. You, you asked for, like, a choice. Well, uh, something that's already been done, so... Apparently we swapped her for Lyle last episode. Look, maybe you're yep. cursed. <laughs> Thanks. Like, I like Domingo. I like... Gunts has been good for us. Arthur's been good for us. Pele's been good for us with his giant chin. Alright, take take Henry out then, because we got three casters. That's probably too many. No. Oh, my vote barely counts. I'm just here for shenanigans. <laughs> oh, my, to be fair, as an extent. So, right. Let's let's just do this. Let's let's see how well this goes with our cowardly dragon. And cowardly user. Ha! Ah, I knew you couldn't hide in there forever. Come on out, little hero. My friend's band was called Little Hero. Uh, Grumps, be careful. Remember that Cain killed Varus. Yeah, but he was rubbish. Yeah, he really was. <laughs> As I said at the time, he had a poo-brown background. What what did he expect to happen in the rest of the game? Oh, look, it's our friends. Right, so there's nothing underneath us. We're not going to get there. High Priest, Cain. Casual How 65 you attack. Uh, I've been going really well. I've been quite nerdy the last couple of days. Uh, 
I'm sure some people will be shocked to hear white that. White and nerdy. Uh, very white and very nerdy. Um, I've been watching the Shining Force mobile game uh, trailer on slow-mo <laughs> to see see what dark secrets I can peel from the gameplay trailer. I think that's pretty funny considering like I was the one most excited for it out of our little group. Yeah. And you're the, the one like going through it with fine tooth, nail and comb. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, it was nice to see that it's got like a League of Legends style um, attacks. Like most of the characters seem to have four attacks. Some of them have passive randomly listed above the name. Um, really? Okay. Yeah. Some of them... Sorry, uh, you know it's funny when Kane tries to cast Esol on you, he usually fails, but he casts it successfully on Varius every time. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I was looking at the Vesper slash Hive MOBA game. Uh, well, I say MOBA game, it's a mobile game which everyone assumes is going to be a gacha game. Uh, yep. And it looks very much like Fire Emblem Heroes, uh, which... Yep. I actually enjoy Fire Emblem Heroes, so as I said in our Discord earlier, just behind me I set my tablet to download Fire Emblem Heroes just to remind myself how those systems work and how... It's not bad, it's kind of... It's kind of like a... It's kind of like a Shining Force light. Yeah. But... but just because of the, you know, the, the small tile set yeah. that's involved and you're obviously you're not having 12 characters and... You know, it, it, it's, it's a reduced experience, but it is that kind of experience. Hang on. Can he yeah, never... Um... Oh, he's got the... What's it one? Yeah, he's okay. got the Chrome Lance. Yeah. That's fine. Um, also, Grocheck1, thank you for joining. I hope you're having a good evening. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I know you mentioned League of Legends before, by the way. John's favourite game. I've been getting... I've been getting oh, the gone back. to play it again. No, I haven't gone back. I haven't. I, it's not installed. I haven't installed it yet. It's just that I've... A, a friend of mine at work... I say friend in the loosest sense. Is it Bones? Um, it's not. It's it, it's it's uh, another guy. Okay. Um, and he's playing it with his sons. Uh, and they are only they only do, like, bot games. They, yeah. they don't play against other people. Okay. But, um... Yeah, I've been I've been getting the itch. I've been like, oh, I wonder what sort of state League of Legends is in, and I and I looked back. So I stopped playing um, last year. Feels longer than that, but yeah. it it was last year when I last played the uh, at League of Legends, and that game like makes me into a bad person. Yeah, I so mean, I, you you were already a bad person to start with, John, um, but it just really feeds into the evil power trip doesn't it like the dark oh side it really of the does force. i i really hate people and it makes me really angry as well so yeah I, it's it's a bad time but i have been the, the problem with league of legends is that the people that play it yeah are terrible and it makes you into a terrible person the problem the main problem is that it's actually a really good game yeah so on a, a slight derailment have you played pokemon unite yet I played one game, won that one game, and I went out a winner. I am the champion of Pokemon Unite with a 100% win rate. Yeah. Uh, both Grocheck and Trace pointed out that Domingo is so good in Shining Force 1 and so bad in Shining Force CD. Um, but apparently has better spells in Shining Force CDs. I reckon he just gets a better carrier bag. I reckon that's what it is. He's got a low He upgrades to, a, to a, a bag for life. Yeah, yeah. This, in this one, bag for life, but previous, in the other one, it's, like, disposable. Like, yeah. I wonder if there's, like, a tier... I, I, a tier yeah, not for the environment. Yeah, yeah. Get I, out of my way. I wonder if there's, like, a tier list of, like, shops and their bag levels. I'm sure that's somewhere on the like, internet. Yeah. But, I mean, most most people, it's going to be, like... I don't even know how that works in, in America. Do they, do they even have, like plastic uh, carrier bags anymore is it all paper over there i think I'm they've curious. used paper for quite a while uh, yeah. anyway very exciting stuff yeah uh, <laughs> yeah if you're watching this in you the youtube video feel free to give us your tier list of bags um oh yeah, yeah. exciting stuff but it has yeah. to be from like a, a, an outlet not like you know gucci or you know i'm talking like proper Emergency bag, now plastic all over the place, bottom tier, uh, Trace is saying. Yep. Oh. 
That was an amazingly fast uh, evade, so fast that they don't have evade animations anymore. Yeah, I, I was going to say, like, I didn't see anything happening. I was wondering if it was Discord not working properly. No, it's just that no, it, they... it's bad. Uh, most of Western cities are starting to charge for a fee. Yeah, we charge 10 pence over here. I don't know how that translates. Feel free to Google it. Pause the video, Google it, come back, and with it's increased like, it's knowledge... It's like 5 cents. Yeah. It's like 5 cents in, in American. It's nothing, but they have to charge for them to kind of dissuade the, the idea of using them for nothing. Yeah. Which so. is weird, because in the shop I work at, everyone seems to not give an absolute damn and just, but, like certain customers will just buy bags forever and it's like you were in only 10 minutes ago why couldn't you have kept the bag did you yeah, literally well. like go into wherever it was turn the bag upside down and put all the contents on a different table and then just put the bag in the bin and go i need more more waste but as i was saying shining force mobile <laughs> yeah how do you feel about it and have you how have you looked upon it uh, like I said before, I'm probably the uh, of our little group of people. By the way, uh, by little group I mean our little Discord uh, yeah. and the YouTube channel that that we're part of together. Um, I'm probably the most excited for it. So m most people are like upset about the the gacha element. I'm okay with that because I played quite a bit of Fire Emblem Heroes and I enjoyed the experience. Yeah, it it, it doesn't compare to like a, a full blown like Fire Emblem game, or in this case, it's probably not going to compare to a full blown Shining Force game. But it is something, and it uses the characters that I like in the setting that I like. Yeah. So at that at that point, what are we really missing out on? Yeah. So like, I, when, uh, are we missing out on a story? Probably. I, well, they probably will have some sort of story, but it won't be like a, a full-blown... It'll be like an episodial thing that has to work within the confines of all the characters from different games coming yeah. together to, you know, sort of like mash together in that way. And that's fine. You, there are ways around that. Like, you, you can have that experience and it be okay. I, how much you buy into that, it's not going to be the same as uh, one of these games, obviously, but you can still have fun with it. And... Yeah. The way I see it is, if this, if this, if this new game comes out and it makes money for Sega, then they'll be more inclined to actually put some money behind it and make an actual sequel, a Shining Force Four, if you will. Yeah. So yeah. if if they actually get through with this and make loads of money off it, I'm all for that. Um, I, I I think people seem to like not understand that the the way that companies have to work these days is that they have to do these projects that are cash cows so that they can make the things that they really want to make yeah i mean also the thing is though is it's like someone described it as like a test market situation but is it just a test market for shining force or is it a test market for other gacha games and with you talking as uh, uh grow check does one, it matter uh, does I mean, it matter uh, i mean if you're wanting shining force games yes opposed to more gacha games then yes uh, no, what I'm saying is though, if if this if if the Gacha game comes out and it's successful, then Sega are gonna go. Well, actually, if if people like this IP, they'll be more likely. Right. Let's let's take the the League of Legends uh, uh, IP for example. They're actually coming out with different uh, League of Legends types games now, yeah. because the Gacha game, which League of Legends is by the way, it's totally a Gacha game. Yeah. The way that they make money is from selling you skins and champions and things like that which is all from a slots or gacha element from it so they have taken that success story and they're turning it into an rpg game or yeah. a card game or all these other things but how long because did it take because for league of legends there? that's fine though they were one of like the the pioneers of, of that kind of market so once they realized that you know that interest in the main game was slowing down they realized that they had to diversify into other markets and that's just like people are taking that they're looking at the the league of legends mo uh, model and they're going well how can we make this work for us and that's where a lot of these m new mobile games come from yeah but um so i if 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 that make like i said if if this makes money for for sega and they want to ca get in on that and make other ip for shining force Shouldn't we just get behind that? I'm not saying give them all our money for a thing we're not enjoying. Yeah. But if, if people are going to enjoy it, 
I'm going I'm probably going to enjoy it. Yeah. I'm okay with it. So Shining State, I do wonder how they're going to do the characters though, and it seems like they're going to use characters from across the Shining Force timeline. Shining Force reuses more names across 1, 2 and CD than any of the franchises I know. So going to the point that John made of it being episodic, uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, I think is, I like Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, it's got a story in it. It's got story mode, which you can play. You don't have to capture yep. it. Uh, nope. And the benefit I like about that story mode is that it allows them to introduce characters as they move on. And Fire Emblem already has like a timeline thing with the way Awakening works anyway. Um, and I think that would be interesting. And I, I, I would just play it for that kind of element. I have no problem with that. Uh, I've got no illusion of something else. Um, but... Like it's like with the redesigns, or well, the thing that I think is interesting is the fact that characters are going to have multiple attacks and abilities. Uh, if you watch the trailer in slow mo, you actually see characters have uh, ultimates. You in fact see the ultimates of Max, um, Bowie. You see May's ultimate. You see yep. Sarah's. The, the only character you don't really see the ultimate of is Sarah, uh, because. I, if she casts a spell, and I'm wondering if her ultimate is like heal, like aura, or something like that. Um, yeah, I, I, could t I could definitely see that. So, Although she doesn't get aura. <laughs> in, in canon, she, do, she doesn't get the spell aura, so... Yeah, but as an ultimate. Uh, as an ultimate, uh, yeah, sure. I'm just saying that in, in Shining Force, she yeah. didn't get aura before. It's, it's one of the only spells she doesn't get. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I also think they'll epi they'll release characters from all the, the things episodically, and I think we might even get a thing where they like put the Shining Force three timeline in, and it will give them an idea. Yeah, I can totally see that. I mean, the, the things that they're, they've looked at now is that what are the things that were the most successful, and it was these two <laughs> games. It was Shining Force one and two. Alternate Sarah, right. uh, Discount Sheila. Sheila. Yeah, Trace Complete. Yes, very much so. Um, they, they'll look at what was successful. And just go well. Okay, what what has the most like fervor for it? The fastest priest put, alive. <laughs> He's... The, they'll put what, what, whatever has like the most um, fervor behind it, and just go. Okay, well these are the things we need to get out because that's what people want. People don't want to see. I mean, some people definitely do want to see some of the characters from Final Conflict, uh, like Gochik said, and uh, the Shining Force three characters, but. I've never played those. Yeah, I mean, also, played... one of the things they can do is they can add the enemy NPCs in as well as playable characters. You could do that, yeah. I I would put that on the back burner. I Because I would just stick to the, the playable characters to start yeah. with. I mean, there, there are so many. So they've got lots of options, but I, I like where this is going. I don't have a problem with it. The people that are saying, like, oh, it's just another gacha game, like, forget about it. Yeah. I think those people are just like I, I don't know I, I think they're wanting something that's just not gonna happen yeah I mean the, you gotta remember the things the things that um, the strategy games that get made these days are um, the, the big one is Fire Emblem well okay Fire Emblem already has a mobile game so they're not gonna plumb the same depths with a, with a competing franchise not when Fire Emblem Heroes is still going and it's still going strong so they're obviously they've already done that. They've already fulfilled their share of the market for that. So anyone thinking that Sega is going to like use one of its best IPs or best unused IP for just a, a regular strategy game, I think is being naive yeah. because that's not making money anymore. I mean, one of the things Sega did recently was re-release Virtual Fighter Five. Yeah. Um, as, a, as a free-to-play thing. So they're obviously in the market for this kind of uh, IP. Yeah. They're wanting to see what's maybe still got the legs and what's going to get them the interest still. Yeah. It's so tempting to just fly Domingo up there. So tempting. 
Okay, the, the, the chat's just like uh, having its own conversation about Shining Force 3. Yeah, I that's don't fine. understand any of that because I've never played them. Well, so the other feel, thing... free to, feel free to hate on me yeah. all you like, by the way. I, I, mean, the other I made thing... my choices. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things that's good that they're also mentioning in chat is that they can also put characters from the Shining, like the rest of the Shining series, like Shining in the Holy Ark, Shining in the Darkness. You could actually add yeah. those those side stories and narratives and characters. I mean, Kazin goes into, is it Shining in the Holy Ark? Him and Sarah are in that. So... Yeah, Alex told, told me about that. I don't feel like I missed anything from not playing yeah. it. I mean, then he also said this game is terrible, so yeah. I, maybe he's been a little bit harsh. I don't know. I mean, Shining Souls like the dungeon crawler game, right? Which I've I got... That's what it is, I've, yeah. One of the boxes... Uh, over here is Shining Souls for the Game uh, Game Boy Advance, and it was fine. I I didn't completely hate it. <laughs> uh, Stunning Saint says, "I do hope they bring some of the systems from Shining Force Three brought forward. That game was so ahead of its time. It's sad to see the early the, the early 3D graphics make it virtually unplayable today. That and still needing to ROM hack English translations from scenarios two and three. Yeah, yeah. I mean that. Look, if if the the Gadget game becomes popular." I could definitely see a remake for 3 being possible. Because that that is not like a massive project to do, to remake those. I mean, real, uh, relatively speaking, it's not. And it, just to interrupt, and on a scale of 1 to idiot, how idiot is this? I think you should go... So bring out the uh, Domingo's movement again. Where, where can he move to? Uh, right, what you need to do is go underneath the, the red mage guy... Uh, and just attack all three of them, including Kane. Yeah. That... He can only be attacked by the Red Mage guy uh, in that position. Well, he can be attacked by the Red Mage, and if, if the Red Mage the moves, mage, he, yeah, he can be attacked by Kane as well. What? Kane has a. a, 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 a immunity. A, a... No, not immunity, like a, uh, an attack no. from two spaces. No, what I'm saying is the Master Mage, if the AI was smart, could move and blaze Domingo. Uh, which, game, which game are we playing again, Gareth? I, look, I know what you're saying, but I'm just... There you go. It wasn't that stupid. I think we lose Lyle to this. Ow. No, I think you're good, for now. Tal playing the role of Anri. Well, He's still alive. That's not. That's not fair. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I could definitely see Sega taking a look at doing a remake of three if the Gacha game is is successful. Yeah, I, I just think that the 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 people that are looking at this Gacha game and thinking that it's a complete waste of time are just living in the past. Mm. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm all for nostalgia. I mean, our my Channel YouTube channel is based on nostalgia, so. You know, I'd be I'd be absolutely killing myself to, to say that there's nothing to be gained from having nostalgia for yeah. things. It's just that I'm trying to be realistic, yeah. um, and people wanting something that is not as monetarily successful in today's market as something that was successful 20 years, years ago, ago. Yeah, it, it's just I, being really naive, in my yeah. opinion. I like Grotex. I, I mean, uh, opinion. Uh, I hope they put together a good compilation. Yeah, I would definitely go for that. That would be fine. I mean, someone on Reddit, uh, when I was having a little look-see, they were commenting on, um, is it the Romancing Saga or something, one of their games? Yeah, uh, I... Romancing Saga 3, I think, got a remake. Yeah. Or is getting a remake. I've never been a fan of that series, so I, I couldn't tell you yeah. any details other than I know it exists. Yeah. But it got a so... remake because it's got a very popular mobile game. Right, so why aren't we looking at that and going, hey, that could be exactly what's going to happen for Shining Force. That could be our hot, our hot schniz. Yeah, why not? I, I, I'm totally for it, and I would... Like, as Papples put in chat, like, uh, she would really love uh, Shining Force 4. And I think a lot of us would. I'm unsure what they'd do with it. Yeah, the, me too. The Shining property is like, what is the last one? Shining Resonance that they made? Um, I I mean I haven't followed those games because as soon as I like find out that they're not like strategy games I just tune out. But do they even like have the same sort of like uh, setting? Are there centaurs and elves and dwarves and everything in between? 
Because that's kind of the thing that draws me to the, the Shining Force uh, yeah. games. Is that the the setting, the the characters involved, the the sort of like neo fantasy steampunk aesthetic yeah. about it all? Yeah, that was something someone pointed out, and they were like, "Oh, as because someone was like, oh, of course he made it look more anime, as if this isn't anime. Like for the '90s, this is not anime." Um, yeah, exactly. And have someone... you, have you, has people seen '90s anime? Yeah. Like, have you seen uh, the Lodos War record yeah. of Lodos War? That's exactly what it looked like, and that was a fantasy game, yeah. a, a fantasy anime. Yeah. Like it's literally this, the, a very similar sort of aesthetic. Yeah. Well, and so it was in his same uh, uh, visual <laughs> aesthetic as well. Uh, to answer your question, he's an armadillo. If you go on to, I think it's even Shining Central, Gunts' species is listed as, and I quote, armadillo. Great. How wrecked does Kakichi get here? Well, it, that's the thing, isn't it? Very. There was a delayed uh, sword <laughs> swipe on that. That's because he was letting him watch his uh, life flash before his eyes before yeah, he I took guess it. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sending saying, uh, saying that Sega has done well about making sure that their Mega Drive Genesis uh, era games have been brought forward. I can play Shining Force 1 and 2 on my PS4. I've bought the games like five different systems at this point. Yeah. I'm realistic though. I love Shining Force, but the game is only followed by 4,000 people on Twitch. Is a loyal but small group of fans, and that doesn't make Sega money. Exactly. That that's a very good point, saying say. That, that I think that's uh, of all my rambling. That's pretty much what I'm trying to get across: is that people need to be more realistic in what sh the Shining series actually is. Yeah. What it offers. It's, it's okay. Don't get me wrong. Like in, in its day, it was there with Fire Emblem, but to, in today's times, like Fire Emblem's up here and Shining Force is down there, like. Yeah. And Sega likes money. At this point, Sega is like a shareholder's company. Yeah. They're not idealists. They're there to make money. And they're going to use their IP in the best possible way of doing that. I, so I, I think I think even the amount of money that they're putting into this new mobile game, we should be applauding that. I, okay, m maybe applauding is, is, is going too far, but we should be like... I'm going to say surprised. I, I was surprised by the the amount that they've put into it. I I just thought it was going to be a throwaway thing that just sort of like really plays on the nostalgia just to try and you know eke some money out of people. And I don't think they've done exactly that. I think that the, there is that in the game. Don't get me wrong. There's, there's definitely going to be some of that, but I think there's enough actual like m uh, money behind it. Enough polish. I, okay, we've seen one trailer, but. At the, what, from what I've seen, I'm I'm going to play this. I'm probably going to be having a good time with it. I yeah. hope, I hope I'm going to have those things. All I'm going to say is, if it's as good as Fire Emblem Heroes on mobile, I also enjoy yeah. how there's someone on Reddit who thinks Fire Emblem Heroes is exclusively on Switch. That that's mm -hmm. the only way you can play it. Um... This is what I'm talking about: uninformed people making uninformed decisions. So. I really hope that we get a game that's as good as Fire Emblem Heroes. I'm intrigued by the fact that if you watch the trailer slowly, you can see that characters have three attacks and they, they can build up to an ultimate. Blue's dead. Hi, Blue. Yeah. Um, and I'm interested in that. I'm curious to see, you know, how that system works and what yeah, they're going to do that's... with it. So from uh, what you're describing, it sounds like they're actually putting... Yeah. They're actually inventing a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Well, the adding is cool. options and stuff, aren't they? And I, I like that. I like the fact that they're going to. Uh... I've had Blue be decent once onto that. Um... So Captain Krill saying, "Oh, good, I got here just in time to see the punishment." <laughs> uh, I gotta say, actually, it's not going too bad. But um, if <laughs> is Garrett this gonna go badly? There, potentially, that could go badly. So I'm gonna put him so you know. he can be. Uh... Can Captain yeah, Gretchen think... uh, do some damage? Yeah, I, I think you, you fight from behind there. Yeah. Hell, they doing decent damage there, actually. Yeah. Flipping out. Who's got the... I think... Who's got the power speech? Let's... May as well use the Chrome Lance. Hang on. Knowing my luck, if I don't equip like this, he'll have nothing equipped. <laughs> oh, uh... Hey, Copper Geomancy. I, I didn't notice you there. Sorry. I've been too busy trying to build up the further of um, 
uh, whatever this this gacha game is going to be. Because I got, I I agree with what you said there. Because he says I've seen a lot of folks who've just had a negative impression of the gacha game. Uh, just say I'd rather they just do nothing with the IP than stuff like this. Yeah, which I highly disagree with, and that's that's pretty much my view on the whole thing as well. Um, yeah, I. We, we, all we can do is wait, obviously. I mean, it's going to come in the first quarter of uh, 2022 uh, for, hopefully... When, when people say that, by the way, like the, there's always the possibility that it'll come out in March. Yeah. Uh, because that's the end of the financial quarter for a lot of companies. Um, the financial but, year is April to April, so... Just for... Is it the end of April, or is it the beginning of April? The, the beginning of April. Right, so it could come out in March. Yeah, I wasn't disagreeing with you, I was just... <laughs> oh, okay, I thought I you were just like, a... John doesn't know anything about anything. No, no, I was, I was just clarifying the stance for people who may not understand okay. how the financial year works. That's fine, okay. I, I'm i just I'm just used to the contrarian, Gareth. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't expecting agreeable, Gareth. Bye, That's Arthur. Fine. Oh, dear. Right. I, I think you still got this. I mean, you've got more than enough people to, to form, like, human sandbags <laughs> between you and Max. So, I think you're fine. I think. Let's test this halberd. I hear it could be good. Especially seeing... Hey, let's do it. Pain is one-shotting everyone. That's pretty decent. Oh, guns. I, I was literally going to say, oh, a, cat, a double attack. No. <laughs> Just a single <laughs> attack. The this is a single attack. The Iron Man knee press only happens once. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, one of the things that I was really excited to see in the trailer, though, was that if the Pelly Slade. Crit yeah. Slade is in the game. John's favourite's in there. So, the rest of the time, Pelé's right. hit Kane for 12, except here. Yeah, well. Uh, who may or may not need healing? Uh, Copper Geomancy saying that I don't think he'd one-shot guns. He'd get pretty close, though. Uh, you're probably right in that. The last time, like, Guns was in battle, I think he got double attacked for death. Can, so. can Lyle finish this off? Sweet, gentle Lyle with the bazooka. Sweet, gentle Lyle. <laughs> and he did. Yeah, hit him for two. Gained 1,200 gold. And he got the Nathas level up. Ah, oh, my mask is breaking. Now I'm just a purple, grey-haired edgelord. Who am I? With a perm. <laughs> Where am I? Yeah. I remember now. Dark Soul masked my face to control me. Whatever have I done? He even made me fight you. Forgive me, Grumps. I'm your brother, but you don't know this. Because at no point in the English translation does it make that clear. It oh. seems that Dark Soul... <laughs> it seems that Dark Soul is behind all the evil afoot. Stop him and it all ends. In any case, let's take another look at this village. Check the shrine again.